but they'll be up there tearing it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, for my money, no disrespect to any of them, mm-hmm. I think UWA top to bottom has the best show. Right. No disrespect to anybody else, because mm-hmm. I guarantee you anybody on the other cards will say exactly the same thing about their show. Right. And they should. Right, but trust me, here's all I'm going to say. March 5th, this Saturday, and I'll get back into this match for a minute. Mm-hmm. My boy is this. Go to an indie show, mm-hmm. man. Just go to an indie show. You can see whatever the hell you want between these five promotions. Go to a show. Mm-hmm. Because there's enough fans for everybody. Go to a show. Right. Support indie wrestling. Yes. Support someone. Okay. If you're in the middle of New Jersey, if you're within an hour of South River, mm-hmm. Come to South River, see UWA Elite, meet Cowboy Bob Orton, and see this great show that we're talking about. Absolutely. If you're not, and you'd rather go to another show closer to you, look up, find one. There will be one. Anyway, back off my diatribe and my high horse. We're going to Tommy Guns Cobra. Mm-hmm. Interesting matchup in that both of these guys need to win very badly. Okay. Brandon Kirk and Jeff Cannonball for 470 days with Tag Team Champions of UWA. Right. 470 days. Unprecedented. Then they lost them to the Unstoppables in the second match of the night that they had to defend those titles in November. Right. They lost a hellacious rematch in a street fight last month. Mm-hmm. In large part because Brandon Kirk got top rope powerbombed through two chairs. Right. Gross. Yeah. Gross. And Jeff Cannonball got smacked... Got smacked. I mean, when I tell you across the face, I mean across the face, like across the jaw with a garbage can lid. Right. Disgusting. That yeah. match was disgusting. It was brutal. Um, so look, Coburn was your eye champion for six months in 2014. Mm-hmm. He a bunch of people. Right. Finally had to face Kyle the Beast. Gave it everything he had. Couldn't come up with the win. Mm-hmm. Ever since then, it has been bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, and betrayal mm-hmm. in the life of Tommy Guns Coburn. People have stabbed him in the back. People mm-hmm. have left him. Partners have let him down. Both these guys just need to win. Because Brandon Kirk doesn't look right without a championship. He doesn't look right without his hand in the air. And Tommy Coburn is on the worst slide of his career. Mm-hmm. And somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. And I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for the loser. I don't know where they could be at emotionally and mentally after this match if they are unable to win this one. Right. Sometimes, you know, wrestling, sometimes matches are not just about titles or pride or whatever. Sometimes it's just about that emotional, that psychological, you know, that momentum, yeah. you know, and where you are. Uh, in, Absolutely. In and, and, you know, mm-hmm. these, are, these are two guys who have other things going on outside of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Tommy Coburn is a great girlfriend. Mm-hmm. He's a really great girlfriend and a job that takes up a lot of his time. And, you know, he starts to wonder sometimes, you know, what, why am I doing this anymore? And mm-hmm. he loves the fans and he loves wrestling. But, you, mm-hmm. you know, he comes to a crossroads sometimes and he's like, man, is this worth it? And it's hard. Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard to have a converse, that conversation with your friend. Right. Same thing for Brandon Kirk. Brandon Kirk, real life, one of my closest friends, mm-hmm. one of the best guys I know. He's a real mm-hmm. jerk in the ring. I don't approve of anything he does <laughs> as a rogue. Mm-hmm. Virtually nothing he does. But, you know, he's got a lot going on. He, he, he's got a new job. He works a ton of hours. And, it's, you know, th- these guys really have to reevaluate themselves after this match, see if they can get back on some momentum on a winning streak. And not to make it too real life, but, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. wins and losses matter. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think the one word you said out of all that that I think sums up this match and, and what you've described is crossroads. And I think it's going to be very telling to see what the ramifications are, uh, you know, like in the Hedges Magic Jeremiah match. What are these ramifications? What is this going to do for these guys yeah. going forward, you know, throughout the rest of the season? Uh, so that's going to be really yeah. interesting to see. Um, and then we'll go back and, and back to the tag team title match. Sure. Uh, which is going to be really interesting. It's going to be the Unstoppables with Jay Wise uh, against Glitz yes. and Glamour. Here is, okay, are, are you familiar with, um, do you watch much football or basketball? Uh, I'm familiar with it, but I don't watch too much of it. Okay, have you ever heard the term trap game? No, I haven't. Okay, let me explain the concept of a trap game. Okay. All right, uh, let, let's say this. Uh, the Carolina Panthers were 13-0 last year. Okay. 
Uh, and they were looking towards an undefeated season and maybe being the first team since the Dolphins in the 70s to go undefeated and win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They, in Week 16, their 15th game of the year, were playing against an Atlanta Falcons team that was pretty average, that was not going to make the playoffs, mm-hmm. and who Carolina had already smoked earlier in the year. Okay. And Atlanta beat them. That's a trap game. Okay. A game that you just win, that you maybe look over, that you take a little bit for granted, mm-hmm. and it sneaks up and, and you lose. That's, okay. that's the definition of a trap game. Okay. This is a trap game for the Unstoppables. This is a very dangerous trap game. Not because Glitz and Glamour is a bad team. Here's why. Okay. The Unstoppables spent 11 months, 11 months, mm-hmm. trying to take the tag titles off of the ropes. They wrestled, I want to say, six, maybe seven times last year. They finally get over the hump. They finally beat their greatest rivals, the guys they couldn't beat. They get over the hill, and they retain. Right. They go, they go through hell, and they finally put their greatest adversaries in their rearview mirror, and for the first time since, I want to say, probably... May of last year, they're not dealing with the rogues. Right. So they take a deep breath, mm-hmm. and one of the and what do they have right in front of them? One of the oh. best tag teams on the independent circuit. Right. Bright lights, Jared Foster, Stephen Sterling, Glitz and Glamour, who the Unstoppables know nothing about, mm-hmm. have never wrestled, have never seen in the flesh before, and that is why this is a trap game. Because they're not getting amped up emotionally for the rogues. They're exhausted. They're spent. They just wrestled a grueling street fight last month. No DQ match against the rogues. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Blitz and Glamour were in a fatal four-way match Mm -hmm. for the number one contendership. So 50% of that match, they were standing on the apron. They're pretty damn fresh. Mm -hmm. They're pretty fresh. And as cocky and conceited as they are, Foster and Sterling study their, their opponents. Mm-hmm. I know them. They come in with a game plan. And if John Roman, Brandon, the Bull, the Unstoppables, are not ready mm-hmm. and are not rested, they are going to lose. Absolutely. This is, this is a really, really underestimated trap game for the Unstoppables, for the tag team champions. And they're not in trouble because they're not as good. Mm-hmm. They're as good as Glitz and Glamour. Right. They are, and they're the tag team champions. Yeah, obviously. And right. rightfully so. Yep. But I can't see where they're as emotionally up for this one as other matches in the past. Right. Just because there's not as much invested. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's very true. Sometimes it's that emotion that carries you over the hump and makes you push further, you know, and give that extra that you might need to win that match and retain your titles. So I think that that's a very good point about not having that emotion, you know, that's so very necessary. Yeah, so that is, uh, that's pretty much the show, except for the fact we do need to mention Mm -hmm. that thank you to Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore and thank you to... Damage 365 podcast and radio network and mm-hmm. Kevin Nasta, you can meet WWE Hall of Famer Cowboy Bob Orton mm-hmm. at Dangerous Uprisings this Saturday. Absolutely. That's, that's going to be really Which cool. Which is fantastic. I, I can't wait to meet the guy. He's the patriarch of the Orton family. Mm-hmm. He is so, I think, even as a Hall of Famer and a legend, so mm-hmm. vastly underrated by this generation for advancing the product. Mm-hmm. Uh, for advancing the idea of what a Southern, quote-unquote, heel could be in that generation. Right. Uh, Bob Orton was one of the greats and really mm-hmm. did so much for this business that is underappreciated. You know, so many people our age just go, oh, it's, it's Randy's dad. Right. And yeah, he's Randy's dad, yeah. of course. But Cowboy Bob, go back and watch him. It's, it's going to be an honor to meet him. Absolutely. Really will be an honor to meet him in South River, New Jersey, this Saturday at UWA Elite. Uh, I completely agree. I think you summed that up very, very well. So uh, tonight, the, the show starts at 7, doors open at 6.30. Uh, tickets are going to be available at the door. Um, and uh, Is there still time to buy them online at, at UWAElite.com? 
Yes, you can go. Um, so actually, bell time is at 6.30. The doors oh, are at 6.00. I'm sorry. Yeah, bell time is 6.30. You can get tickets now at uwaelite.com. And here's why I think you should get them in advance. If you buy them in advance online, even if it's the day before the show, mm-hmm. Dave, the president, will just have them held at the door for you, so you're not going to lose out. An individual ticket, if you buy it online right now, is $15 instead of 20 mm-hmm. So that's a $5 savings. Family four pack of tickets is fifty dollars instead of eighty. Mm-hmm. You save thirty bucks. So if you and three friends, or you and your wife and two kids, or you and your three kids, or you and your step niece, your grandfather, and the guy next door, I don't care. Get four people together. You save thirty bucks on your tickets. Right, exactly. And you know, the last few shows have been almost standing room only. So even if last you show was, gonna... we ran out of chairs last month. So even if you think you're going to get there, you know, when the doors open at six o'clock. Uh, you know, for the 6.30 show, you know, there's a good chance you might be standing. So if you want a seat, you know, you really want to buy your tickets in advance. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's going to be a great show. Um, Colin, you know, um, as I'm wrapping up, why don't you share where people can find you? You'd mentioned it before, but maybe share again where people can find you on social media. Sure. Uh, first things first, uh, you can find UWA Elite again at uwaelite.com. You can like UWA Elite on Facebook at UWA Elite on Twitter, and I would suggest strongly looking up UWA Elite Pro Wrestling on Facebook. You can watch every UWA Elite Supercard all the way back to 2004, 2005, virtually every show, Mm -hmm. UWA Elite Pro Wrestling, uh, and we're not like, UWA Elite's not like other promotions. Mm -hmm. You can see every match in this company's history for free, Mm -hmm. virtually every single match recorded for free on YouTube. We want our fans to have, no pun intended, all access. Enjoy the product. See everything. There's no, sorry, there's no nine ninety nine. There's no subscription. Mm-hmm. There's no one match for free and the rest you have to buy. Right. See every match pretty much in the history of UWA Elite. Get to know the product. Get to know these guys because uh, they really give a damn. And the passion that the roster and the production team uh, guys like John and Andy have is is really unmatched, really unmatched. Um, as far as me, mm-hmm. uh, you can find me this Saturday, March fifth, twenty sixteen, at the South River, New Jersey Holy Trinity Church, mm-hmm. doing commentary for Dangerous Uprisings. You can find me on Facebook, Colin West. You can also find CTW Charity Wrestling, Change the World Wrestling on. Facebook. You can find me on Twitter at CTW Charity. Visit charitywrestling.com or email me CTW Charity Wrestling at gmail.com. That is five million plugs, and I am exhausted. <laughs> this, this has been a great conversation. I, I've so enjoyed talking with you. It's really been awesome for me. Someone that I respect, and like I said, I enjoy your commentary so much. So it's been great to sit down and, and talk with you and give your thoughts about wrestling and, and hear about you know, what makes you passionate about wrestling, what you care about. Talk a little about CTW, talk about UWA Elite. It's been great. And and I would love to have you on again as a guest sometime. You're absolutely welcome to come back and join me. Uh, I would love that very much. Um, So I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out to to talk with me on the the first episode of the show. Uh, I did not know that. I thought I was just coming on for a little bit. I didn't know that I was your guest, actually, until today. (laughs) And that is like... uh... (laughs) <laughs> it's a weird thing, but it means a lot. I, I really am I'm grateful that you would think of me to do that. I really, uh, really am thankful. I, I think you're great at what you do, and I appreciate it a lot. And thanks for giving me the opportunity to come on and run my mouth for way too long. Well, I enjoyed it. I'm sure everyone listening enjoyed it as well. So, again, like I said, please, you know, I'd love to have you back sometime. Um, and, you know, um, I'm very much looking forward to uh, seeing you this Saturday at UWA Elite. So thank you, Colin. Thank you so much. Right. Have a great night. Thanks. You too. I again want to thank Colin West for joining me uh, on this first edition of the Funkenstein Wrestling uh, Roundup. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, You may have noticed that I don't have any music for the show. Uh, So it's a little bit quiet in the intro and outro. That's because I haven't found music that I liked yet. So I'm asking you, listeners, uh, to recommend music for the show. 
So maybe a little contest. Uh, and whoever uh, recommends the music that I pick, uh, you know, will have a little prize. So not only will you be mentioned on the show, I'll give you credit for suggesting the idea, I'd like to interview you and give you the opportunity if you choose to be interviewed. So if you have music suggestions, please uh, let me know. I am all over the internet. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Facebook as Babs Indie, and Indie is spelled I-N-D-I-E. 